Hopefully that will work. Am I back? Back again. Stabby's back. Killing off Facebook works. Sort of. I'm ice cream now. I am ice cream. You scream. Uh, give me a second. It's going to be a little bit... Oh my god, it does. That's hilarious. I didn't even notice that part. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'm trying to do something in the background, so just give me a sec. That's hilarious. I love it. I love it. Okay, there we go. All right. Here we go. Now it should be normal. Look at this beauty. This is a Maya. I love that it has a set path. Check that out. And this bridge. I should know better. Lilith's stuff is always gorgeous. How stunning. Look, a little nook in here. Oh, it's so pretty. Those are bed heads, bed headboards of beds. And they've got steam in there and a bucket. I don't know which way to go. So here's a gong and one of these three turny things. But with a top and a bottom, they've created an entirely different structure here. This is really neat. Stunning. Stunning. Look at those floating baskets of fruit and stuff. Am I, am I uh, really delayed again because... Or are we all just, you know, struck by how beautiful this is? A little spot to sit by the water, the steam bath. Yeah, we're on EU. This is Lilith on EU. She, everything she does is like this, stunningly beautiful. Yar, I am indeed. Oh, look at that table. That's weird. It's a table bed. Understood. And they sunk these down to be more uh, Asian looking. I love everything about this. The, this is the kind of build I will want to be able to make, but I can't. Oh, right, that you sit with your legs under so that you keep warm. You're right. I know what you mean now. Thank you for putting two and two together because I didn't. I love this fountain. I love everything. So beautiful. Gorge. I can't remember the name either. Oh, and we're in uh, another um, 
sauna with a Zen garden in it. <laughs> All right, I've been drinking a lot of coffee. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. Woke the beast. Okay. So, yeah, it's it's actually Amaya. You know what? I was thinking about this while I was out there. That what's really cool about this house is that they were able to not only make the... Yeah. Ooh, sorry. They make the main portion exactly what they wanted it to be, which is this, like the whole view of it is just stunning. It's all just perfectly beautiful. But each section they send you through has its own like view and things going on. Like the bamboo here with the kitty in that. Like you're in a bridge, you have the water to look at. Nothing in this house is boring. There's no section of it that is boring, wasted, or unused. Each section has a focal point. And I think that's really amazing. And something to remember is try to make a focal point in every section of your house so that there's nothing pointless. Everything has its own little section. Also, I love these stairs. Handmade, by the way. Beautiful. Beautifully done. So this person probably has a background in art. Lilith is just super talented. I love how no matter how you look at it, it's beautiful, right? Super jealous. Lancia. Let's go to their Hall of Lunar Champion. Super jealous. Hooray. Hello. My ice is ice. My head is an ice cream cone. You're absolutely right. And I was uh, happy New Year as well. And enjoy your meeting. And everything is cool. Everything is caught up, and everything is fine. Thank you for the bits. Nothing is a problem. <laughs> Where's the little sign-in sheet? Where is it? Except for the sign-in sheet not being here. <laughs> Where is the sign-in sheet? I must have already been here. At some other point. Boo, hiss. Yeah, I was here. Why did I hit a house I already seen? Open the house today. I'm losing my mind. Maybe they reopened it. That's possible. I do that sometimes. Very strange. Yes. Happy New Year. I won't detain you. You're a busy man. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty! What a great idea! 
That's beautiful, Lancia. Using those achievement tiles. They look fantastic there. They really do. Nicely done. I'm still working on ideas for my hundings, but I I will be working on it. I did put some things down already. Look at this little nook. Cute little nook. You pay attention to your meeting. Don't pay attention to me. Don't get in trouble for me. Oh, it's like TV. They're watching, uh, it's like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on TV for the holidays. <laughs> I don't want you in trouble. That's all. Cozy little kitchen with no dead me's cooking. Okay, you don't want me to be an ice cream cone. I understand this, but too bad, because now I have a different ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things, folks. It's the little things. Hi, Garish. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. People would love that. <laughs> it's funny because of the, the smoke. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> you thought you got rid of the ice cream, but the ice cream knows butter. Sorry, I'm just a total goofball, and I know it's silly, but I can't help it. <laughs> this is really pretty. Look at that. They've got a yellow one bell, and a blue bell, and a red bell, and a green bell. And that matches the colors on the on the wedding, on the uh, wind bells. It's really cool. What a beautiful idea. I'm really impressed, Lancia. Oh, handmade, be be not bench, handmade bridge, too. People are getting so good. They are getting really, really good. They're creating things in ways that I don't think they would have thought to do a few years back. But they're just, I think, you know, a combination of the new structural items, you know, that we get, like wood and, and ah, dead. Oh no! Oh no, I gotta get eaten! <laughs> no! I went the wrong way! No! <laughs> That's what I get for complimenting people. I get eaten. <laughs> that was not my intention. We'll go back there, but I think I'm gonna go the safe way first. Let's see what's up here before I die of fish fooding. Yes. Nami nami fish food. Oh, dead cat. Anything? Anything? Oh, well, part of a plant, but it wasn't intentional. It doesn't look like. Boo! I hope that the fish like ice cream because that's all that's on the menu. I am such a dork. My mom has this silly streak too. We're both so silly. Um, ridiculously so. As does my husband. My husband is a total goofball. And his dad was even more of a goofball. So it runs in our families. Thank God we don't have kids. We'd embarrass the shit out of them. <laughs> so we've got a glowy green fire tree and some sort of portal I'm thinking a boat I gotta start on that I have to start working on my boat thing you know oh I like the lights all the way up oh that's too bad <laughs> That's probably true. You would know better than I, since you has them and I don't. 
Okay, so that was the only way we could go through, but that was fun. And we did get eated. Ion fail, stay moist, jungle hideout. I think the, that most people understand that children are going to scream and, and have tantrums and do their things at a certain age. Most of society understands that that's just the way children are. And as a society, we kind of have to put up with that. But hopefully it's not too bad for you. I mean, that's when they're really young, right? I guess. So this is Jungle Hideout, I Am Fail, no effects, 600 to 600. It looks like a mine. They redid everything. Look, if you're gonna redo everything in a house, might as well be, uh, might as well be this one because this house kind of sucks just normally. I guess I'm not a big fan of poo houses is really what it comes down to. So this is more like, you know, they've got a little tent and they've got all their stuff. And this is a broken down mine. I wasn't wrong. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> okay. I have a plant. I have a, a potted plant and it, I named it Robert because Robert plant. We've had Robert for about five years now. Of course you can. We've had Robert for about five years now. And Ro this is really cool, by the way. And we got Sherry just back in, <laughs> you got me. Um, I'll watch that in a second. Uh, they got, so I've had Robert for about five years. So Robert is a part of our lives. I bring Robert, we bring Robert in, in the winter. He stays indoors. He blooms. Oh, how pretty. And then we put him back out again in spring. Well, Sherry, who we just got, oh, I like this little spot. Uh, decided that she is going to sit on Robert. So my husband finds her sitting in the pot and he's like, we do not sit on Robert. And then he realized that she was peeing. <laughs> she had been peeing on Robert instead of peeing in her litter box for God knows how long. And he wasn't dead yet. So we had to, you have to see what we had to do to protect Robert. It's hilarious. Um... So we tried putting sticks in it to try to get her from like not sitting on it. She found a way around it. So finally my husband found a, <laughs> found a way to save Robert from the, from the pee monster. She's little, she's little, she is a little girl. So she's not too problematic, but let me show you this, how we save little miss from peeing on Robert. But like I said, we do not pee on Robert. So that's my, that's, that's Robert's very own force field. <laughs> There's saran wrap around the sticks in there. <laughs> oh no, on laundry. Oh goodness. No, not on laundry. She, she, she likes the dirt smell. She smelled the dirt. And so we bought litter box attractant that has dirt scent to it. So it's supposed to make her want to use it. So we think she's using it because we haven't found anywhere else that she's peeing. Certainly wasn't. My husband's like for the longest time, he's saying, I don't know where she's peeing. There's no pee in the litter box that she uses. There's poo, but there's no pee. And I don't know where she's peeing. All along, she was peeing on Robert. It is so upsetting because I didn't want Robert to die. Um, but you know what? I went and looked at him yesterday. He's got new shoots. He's shooting up some new new leaves. So he didn't get her too hurt by the pee, luckily. I would have been very upset if she killed Robert. He's a tough little cookie flower plant thing. So that's neat. All right, let's go to Black Razor Snowbound. I was here earlier today 
He was having trouble with Vex, but I think we fixed it. It is. It is poor Robert Plant. It was funny when I named him. My we we got him like when apparently we got him when he was so little he was like literally in one of those you know the size of a cup pots the little tiny pots and we planted him and my husband's like I don't know what are we gonna name him and I said Robert right off the top of my head and he said why Robert oh look it's a me I'm a mouse pad. <laughs> Uh, and he's like, why Robert? I'm like, Robert Plant? And he's like, oh my God, you did not. Yes, I did. Look at this great use of effects in a very small space. They've got the bookcase. Doesn't that look real? And then they've added like screen stuff. So you can kind of recognize that this is a screen, not just a, and that's a stylus and a keyboard. And then there's trash in the trash can falling out of it there's a painting up here it's really cool in here hey Cassandra oh yes I got your messages I don't know if I answered but I'm on like negative bandwidth brain and books up here this is so cool I love it but yes yeah, so that's Robert he is a part of our family I'll take your word for it I don't know these things. Um, that's it. Let's go over back to NA. So what happened is uh, this morning, Black Razor contacted me to check this house because they had uh, lost their effects because they went to a new home. And I showed them how to download them from the community again. And they were able to do it for two of them, but not for this one. And so I was trying to help them figure that out all right na now we're not we're not a you know ignoring eu anymore so we'll go back over to na <laughs> i'm a nice king cone it even gives me little arms but i can't like move them it's a shame i wish i could move my little arms i can but only like waggling them i wish i could just <laughs> Move my arms like a normal person. <laughs> Not an ice cream cone. Oh. Well, thank you for telling me because I had no idea. This is a really cute one, isn't it? It's kind of adorable. I've been saving this one for you guys. I didn't know a good time to do it. I'm just making it dance now. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Thank you, Garish, for, for giving me the straight line. <laughs> Well, what was funny about Cassandra is that I had a different uh, ice cream cone before it. And then Garrus changed my filter and I'm like, ha, you think you got rid of my ice cream cone? Well, ha. And then I put on this one. <laughs> Little things make me happy. And then I got eaten by a slaughterfish. It was sad. <laughs> We cried. Not really. <laughs> Come on, load your boat. It's taking forever. Yeah, every day I check for new new ones to see if there's anything cute or funny. And sadly, like a lot of times, there really aren't anything good. There really isn't anything good. But. Snow swept bushes in brass fortress? Really? Well, let's go look. Shall we? I don't think so. 
but let's double check. You never know. Maybe maybe something is different than I'm what I'm thinking. I wish I could give them to you. That sounds like I could swear those are either in the Reach or in uh, Solitude. I don't know why they would be in Brass Fortress. I think I think it got confused because I don't think they're here. That's the achievement for stealing goods. Razufa. Razufa? Who the hell is the achievement furnishing? No? That's really wrong. The only collection she has is this. The Truth in Sequence? Yeah, I think so too. Let's go to Solitude. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in, what? It's in Solitude. We'll double check. Oh, I have very bad days, but I, you know, you guys usually cheer me up. You make me laugh. You honestly do. It's like, I'll be having, I've been having a very hard time lately because of um, pain. But you guys make me laugh every day. And I try to be positive and I try to cheer you guys up when things are bad. But sometimes you just got to be sad. Like, some of you have lost people recently, and it's like, I'm not going to tell you to cheer up, but I will listen to you because I understand what, what it's like. Pain is hard. Yeah, you're right. I'm an algae that eats you. <laughs> and you eat me. <laughs> um... oh, wait, I'm on the wrong one. I'm just checking to see if there's a home goods bush of any sort. So we got, looks like you could do the winter pine. I don't know how big that is. Here, young winter pines might be good enough. What do you think? And they may be good enough. Let's get one and we'll see. And then I'll go to the reach and we'll get one of those and compare. Why not, right? We all learn when we look together. Briar Rock, no. I gotta do some digging up of things. Well, she was looking for bushes. I'm just buying one of each of these, uh, things that could look like the bushes because I do have some of the snow sweat bushes and put them next to each other and see if they look good enough. That's what I was thinking. I have a whole bunch that I, that I just have in my storage. Working in a winter wonderland in the meadow we can be filming. Where's the regular furnishing dude? Here you the regular furnishing dude. All right. <clears throat> Sapling. White pine. Get the tiny one. Tree young winter pine. That we already have. So we've got... Two little ones. Let me go to, to my tell gallon and pick up the right one. <clears throat> you must be adding a whole lot of pines to the... Because Enchanted starts with a lot of trees. You must be adding a whole bunch. 
All right. So let me see. Let me get the plants. We've got. Is it a plant? Snow swept thinger. I know I have them. Snow swept cloak. Okay. So yes, I've got them. So let's put them next to each other, shall we? We've got sapling, white pine. Young winter pine. And snow swept shrub. So I'm going to say that the one you're going to want is, is clearly the sapling white pine because that's the closest to this crown item of the three. Don't you think? I'd send you these, but honestly, they're bound to me or I'd give them to you. So that, that's what I'm thinking is that you're going to want to go with those, the white pines and sink them down. If you sink them down enough, they'd look exactly like them, right? Sort of? Kind of? <clears throat> Reaches home good furniture. Fender. You mean, like, does he sell it? Or is it just a thing? Um, I can look. Bush cluster snow swept. That's what I have. This is, oh, bush cluster, not shrub cluster. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Um, shrub clusters. Let me go look. I don't know what you're talking about, so I'd have to go look. Give me a moment. I must not not have those. Yeah, I don't have any. I just have the shrub clusters. Shrub cluster. Do do. They are. They're very pretty. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh. All right. Fire grate. Fire grate. Does he have a fire grate on him? Oh, you mean the one over by the other guy. We'll see. Let's see what that one is. Oh! No. That is, that is not, no. That's interesting. You know what? You could put it up on the forums, at, in the housing forums, and ask them to add it because they um, they actually read the forums, the devs, the housing devs do. I don't know about the rest, but the housing devs read everything. So if you wanted to, you could probably put that up as a request and see if they okay it, you know? That's a shame, though. I wonder if there's anything like it. Um, <clears throat> I bet you there is something like it. Let's see if we can poke around. Red Garden Kiln. I mean, I, I mean, I have Cardi. He's about as close to as an inside as as I get. 
Red Garden Kiln. I missed it! Red Guard Oven Clay? I see it. I see it. I see it. Nope. No Red Guard. No Red Guard Kiln. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Red Guard Oven Clay here. You should, you should ask them. This is the beginnings of my, uh, what I'm doing to my huntings, by the way. Very, very beginning. All right. So let's look at Crown Store. You should ask. Seriously, ask. Uh, they, they may do it. They may just do it. You never know. I mean, at least put the bug in their ear and see what happens. Kind of, but not the same. And if it's already an existing asset, they're more, like someone said, it, they're more inclined to do it. I, no, that doesn't work. Hmm. See this? You could take this dwarven chandelier and turn it on its side and maybe put it in front of the fire and use it like that. Ooh, this one especially would work well. That would be gorgeous. Okay, so dwarven chandelier polished or braced. Let me see if I have those. Hello! Dwarven chandelier. I know I have at least one. Framework. Braced! I have I have the run I'm thinking of. Okay, so hold on. Let's go there, we'll grab it and we'll top we'll try it. We'll try it in front of a fire and see what happens. <clears throat> I just, I think for that particular item, there wouldn't be that problem because if, if that were the case, if we had popped on the inside of the fire, it would be invisible. Maybe they did both sides. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it'd be that hard to create a mirror, a mirror image of it. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. What can I say? I, I'm not the brightest bulb in the box. All right. Let me load here. I don't remember if I have a fireplace anywhere in this place. Okay, so here's the one I was talking about. This guy. We'll take it. And then... Yeah, I don't think I have a fireplace in here. We'll go to one. We'll go find one. <clears throat> I have one in my domus. Sorry for the flopping around, but let's try things, right? This is how this is how we build. We try different things. All right, Domus Frosticus. We go inside. And now let's try this, huh? Let's try this lighting trick. Now, what I'm saying about this is look, see that? It's not perfect. But it's definitely different. Uh, if you had a bigger fireplace too, it might be better. 
if you had multiples of these, you could probably make a really cool shape. It's not exactly the same, but it's something, right? What if you did this and then tried two others like facing the other way? You could get that kind of turny bit. could try it see what happens well I'm just testing it I mean we're all testing it together right trying different things yeah I mean you could give that a shot then there's um, different shaped ones like this one would probably be gorgeous because it's a lighter color then you have this, these guys you can make and you can put two of these in there and have them be gorgeous, I think. Where would you get these? Dwarven lamp cylinder cages. Let's see if I can buy those. Dwarven lamp cylinder cage. Yep, I can buy them. There's Almalex, well, let's just get them, Lucian. We can get two at Lucian right now, so let's get them at Lucian because that's my guild. <clears throat> I think that those might work better. But this is what you do when you're building. You're trying, you see something you like that you want to do, or you get an idea for something you like. And unfortunately, it can cost a lot of money, but you buy things and then you try them. It is enormous. Let me show you something cool that I saw someone do just recently. Um, I actually sent it to Chrysia. I thought it was a really, really good idea. Here. Yeah, it may not be your cup of tea, but it's cool. Look at that. It's, uh, so they added that, that's the vampire lamp of a cal uh, 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 vampire chandelier upside down that's you know the translucent justice or whatever the hell its name is and that's just a, a moon gate but you could just turn this upside down and stick a light on the inside and get something like this or try it you know or hang it but only this portion of it give it a shot try different things with it you know give it a shot <clears throat> just a thought I'm sorry that sucks all right let's look for our furnishings dwarven cage <clears throat> here we go dwarven cages from Lenny Cub Lenny Cub All right, let's go back and try this one. I think this will look better. Oh yeah, that would be good, great too, wouldn't it? Good morning, Serafi. We looked at a couple of housing spiders this morning and then I got distracted. We are testing out light cobbles. I'm sorry, there isn't anything else I can do now. Whoops. There's nothing I can fix. Let's try this and then we'll, hold on. Oh, you're stuck in there. Oh, you're gonna be pretty. Especially if you got three of these. Oof. How pretty they'll be. Oh, I'd love to. They're great. Nah, that's going to be pretty if you get three of them. Also, you could do uh, 
this. Yeah, I've turned off everything I can. There isn't anything else I can do at this point. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, 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 check this out. Okay, so we got that. And then, there you go. Look at that. You can even just have one. Well, yeah, the undo button would make sense. You can also just have one if that's more your, your bag, but I think the two looks better. That's pretty. Pretty. And of course, it's not even. I would have to, you know, make it even and beautiful and perfect, but I like it too. All right, we'll, we'll look at a couple more homes if I'm working properly. If I'm if I'm still lagging, let me know. Well, whatever they're called, who cares? Words are hard. Cassis Fanta. Oh, they're all big ones, Cassis. I don't know. All right, let's go to Corundum's Barb Took. It is quite pretty. All right, we're in Corundum's Barbed Hook. Skywatch Her Herbalist. Okay. Check out the pots in front of it. How nice. Yes, go ahead. Experiment. I love the basket on a hook. That looks really good. And it's an affordable tricksy trick. Oh, that's great. The baskets with the flowers in them. Perfect for an herbalist. Things hanging upside down, drying. Herbs. Herbs. 98 items out of 100. Up on the second floor, which of course is not normally here. Uh, this is added by Corundum. I wonder why they have a... That's interesting. Why do they have a stake next to them? A, uh, an Argonian stake. She's not Argonian. She's a, I don't know. Really beautiful though. Fantastic work. This is fun. All right, let's do a Casas Fanta. They've been just knocking them out of the park lately. We'll do their antiquarian. Casas Mi Mini Delve. Make sure you enter exclamation points potato for PCNA, PCEU, 50,000 gold every day giveaway. Only for live viewers, though, sadly. I'm sorry. All right. Cassis Mini Delve. 600 out of 600 items. No effects. I'm, my ping shot up to 1,000 there. So that's clever. I'm not sure what's going on, but this is uh, this is antiquarian, believe it or not. 
completely closing off the house and giving us a little crafting area and now we're going up on the hill. Somebody just did not like this house and decided to cover it up entirely. This reminds me of Lord Dwen, maybe? I have not heard. Certainly not the next month because it's not even in preview. Not official preview. Oh, neat. So I would not expect it this month or next. Or this calendar or month. Whatever, you know what I mean. Normally they put it in the showcase and they haven't done that. So somebody hated the house but wanted to make use of the water and make it into a dove. Dead cat. Oh, Cassis, you haven't figured me out yet. I'm so easy to please. What? Oh, that goes up. Let's, let's check out what's down here first. So somebody sunk an entire ship down here, as one does. And they have a dead crocodilo. Crocodilio. What's that? That's that spider guy. I don't know what all is going on. This is crazy. There is so much just craziness. Lots of uh, clutter, which is good. Money and toys and food and all sorts of stuff. I don't get it. Okay, let's go up. I wonder if it connects. It does not. Instead, we should walk the plank. There's another little sneaky sneaky area in the back, so we're gonna go over there. Yeah, well, that's true too. That's true too. I shouldn't assume they didn't like the house. I mean, I was meh on it, on the house proper. Um, that's why I wasn't gonna use it. But for whatever reason, I just haven't finished my build. Ooh, what have we here? We have all sorts of, whoa, weirdness going on in here. Got the spider doing something. What are you doing, spider? Oh, this must be a robot. This must be yet another uh, robot entry. There's a whole bunch of people made robots. And I'm not really sure why. I don't know what guild they are. But there's just all of a sudden there were a ton of robots in everybody's houses. And I couldn't put two and two together. So it's kind of crazy. All right. I'm going to pull it. Let's see who won. And the winner is Shinzi. Um, I'm gonna call it for now, but what I'll do is uh, I'll try to come back for a, a chill stream later, but I'm too tired. Things are not normal for me. So let me drop you off with someone while um, while I rest. For those of you who just want to, you know, stay on and do your thing. I will go sneeps. I go sneeps. But first I probably go list things and then I'll sneeps. Raid channel. Bye bye bye. Goodbye. Do 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 do
Come on, load. All right. Nobody's doing ESO, so you're going to get Hammy, who I love. All right. See you later.